And I believe everything is recording all right. You raise the volume on my mic a little bit. Trying to get it to reach around negative 12. Here we go. Okay. Hey everyone, it's Lauren. I'm sharing my build with uh, my solo and small group Stamp Sork build real quick because uh, actually I saw Eamon's video um, uh, on his Stamp Sork build and he's been running a spin to win setup for the past couple of years at least. Uh, and I was surprised to see that he switched to two-handed uh, this patch. Um, and he asked what I'm running to that's allowing me to still run uh, dual-wield. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so I guess to start out with the stats, almost fully buffed up. Look like this. This is not fully buffed up. I'll explain it in a second. Um, so, I am running on the back bar Wretched Vitality. This only procs when you are in uh, combat. And you only need to use Race Against Time to proc it because it gives you a major buff and a minor buff. Uh, so when you're in combat, you're going to be hitting Race Against Time every now and then, uh, about once every 15 seconds. Um, uh, however, I don't necessarily think that this has a uh, cooldown. Uh, you're going to be hitting this every 15 seconds, and you will have a shit ton of resource sustain. Um, so, pretty good stats on this. I have 64 points into health because my character is a Bosmer. Um, you honestly probably don't need that much if you're running like something that gets health like a Imperial or Orc or Nord. Um, or even a Khajiit, honestly. I This character has always been a Bosmer and I won't ever change it, but I do like the extra stamina recovery because I'm constantly sprinting and I need, I need the stamina to recover as fast as possible whenever I'm not sprinting. And then it gives you a little bit of extra damage and movement speed, which I really like. Um, so this build is more of a skirmishing playstyle, but you can definitely uh, adjust it to kind of be a little tanky, and I'll explain that here in a second. Uh, if you're going to run this in Battlegrounds, you don't really need to make any changes to it, but uh, you'll make some CP changes if you want to be more tanky. So anyways, we are running Wretched Vitality on the back bar. And on the front bar, we're running Orders of Wrath. Now, on your front bar, because of Orders of Wrath, you're going to want to have Camo Enter, uh, which will give you a ton of extra damage. I'm running the Warrior for my Mundus Stone. Um, you can use Thief for more burst, uh, or even Shadow, uh, but Warrior is the more well-rounded. Um, I, I'm gonna, I have to sneeze. Um, Warrior is the more well-rounded one. Uh, so I run that. Um, on my front bar I'm running Crystal Frags, which I'll explain in a second. I'm running Haunting Curse, uh, Spin to Win, Camo Hunter, and Resolving Vigor. And, of course, I'm running DB. On the back bar, I'm running Streak, uh, which historically I've run on the front bar because I run around a lot, but uh, I'll explain that in a second. Uh, Race Against Time, which we're using to proc um, 
Stretch of Vitality, Dark Deal, Rally, Hurricane, and Shooting Star. Shooting Star is a flex spot. Uh, in fact, you probably won't be using it half the time. Uh, you can run uh, Greater Storm Atronach uh, or uh, Undo. Um, but I do use the Meteor every now and then. Uh, so, generally in combat, you're hitting Vigor every now and then. Uh, so, Vigor, if you keep this up, um, you're going to be proccing Crystal Frags a lot. Um, Haunting Curse. Uh, it, it goes off after three and a half seconds, and then after an additional eight and a half seconds, it goes off again. Uh, we only really care about the first one that goes off. You're going to actually use this on cooldown. Uh, the tooltip might not look super impressive, but uh, this actually does a shit ton of damage. Um, so you're going to be casting this on your target essentially every three and a half seconds. And you can sustain that because you're using uh, Wretched Vitality, which gives you, honestly, more recovery than you need. Um, and I still haven't explained all the sets yet. I, I realize that. I'll get into that in a second. But I just got to cover everything. And you're using Whirling Blades as your main attack. A lot of times, uh, those of us running Whirling Blades are using it more of an, as an execute. Um, but it does do good enough damage to be used as a spammable. So between constantly using Vigor... Whirling Blades and Haunting Curse, you will proc Crystal Frags a lot. Uh, and it does more damage than uh, Crystal Weapon, because Crystal Weapon got nerfed like hardcore. Uh, it does more damage than Crystal Weapon when it procs. And honestly, this build hits hard enough that you aren't super reliant on the Crystal Frags. Um, but I've had it hit for... Uh, about 15k uh, on weaker targets, so this build will just absolutely annihilate low health targets. Uh, pretty much anyone that has uh, below 30k health is at risk of getting bursted down really fast on this build. Back over to the sets. I'm actually running Veladreth. I don't have ideal traits on my Veladreth helms. Or Veldrith sets. Um, I'm actually running Veldrith for more burst. If you're running in small group or doing more sustained fighting, you should of course be running uh, Balorg. Um, but again, I do more of more skirmish fighting where I get up in your face and kill you really fast. Um, I need to check something. Um, where I get up in your face and kill you really, really fast. Uh, so the extra damage from Veladreth is, is pretty nice. Um, so typically your rotation will be to apply Haunting Curse to someone, uh, light attack them, which will immediate, almost immediately proc Veladreth. If not, your Hurricane will probably proc it. Um, and you just kind of have to aim it at the person. Uh, Veladreth, uh, Baylorg is so strong that most people are running it just for sustained fighting. Um, but Veladreth, I think uh, a lot of people don't expect it. And since it shoots three spores in like a cone-like area, um... It can be hard to uh, avoid it, uh, mainly because uh, you're going to be up in the person's face and they probably won't expect the Veladreth to proc. It does extremely good damage, and I'm not buffed up right now. Uh, for your Mythic, um, I'm running Torque of Tonal Constancy. Uh, this is because I don't want to have to worry about resource management. 
And between Wretched Vitality and the Twerk, it's honestly a little overkill. You should probably run the Mark and Ring of Majesty. I don't have that ring, uh, and I don't really have any intentions on farming it because I run the Twerk on a lot of my characters. Uh, an alternative, I'm not sure if I have it on here, would be the Ring of uh, the Wild Hunt, uh, which will just make you faster, but the reason that I go with the Twerk uh, is because you're already fast enough, uh, it, at least on a Wood Elf or Orc. Um, I'm running one Swift, one Infused, and one Bloodthirsty with uh, two Tristat Recoveries, and honestly, I should probably be running two damage glyphs. Um, uh, but I'm not. The Bloodthirsty uh, trait, I do actually think a blood, Bloodthirsty is worth running so that people aren't going to uh, recover as easily when they're at low health. You'll get a lot of extra damage against someone. Uh, and since uh, I'm running an infused weapon damage glyph along with rally, that stuff adds up really fast. Um, and then I'm running a reinforced uh, piece of trainee. Uh, and I'm running tri stat on almost everything. I've got a, a health glyph on the trainee and uh, stam glyphs on villadreth, which should be tri stat, but I. Clearly haven't gotten around to changing that. Um, sharpened and Nernhound for my maces. The back bar mall is powered. You should probably run a sword, but uh, I'm running a mall. Um, I don't have my poisons equipped right now, but I'm normally running poisons. If you don't run poisons, run one disease and one shock glyph on your maces to reduce uh, the enemy's healing as well as make them take a lot more extra damage. Um, you don't have too much maximum stamina on this. If you're running something that's not uh, a wood elf, there's a decent chance that you've got uh, better looking stats. Uh, like on an Imperial or Nord, you won't need to put so much points into health. Um, but I, I really do swear by Wood Elf and uh, Orc for Sam Sork, just because of the speed. This class benefits so much from extra speed. Um, for the champion points, um, I've got, let's see, I think I've got a cult to reload on right now. Um, let's see. So I've got Exploiter, Master at Arms, and Wrathful Strikes. Um, and then uh, Unassailable is what I run whenever I'm not running in a group. Um, on Eman's build, he was running more uh, damage reduction based uh, champion points. If you're wanting to face tank a lot of people, then definitely go for more damage reduction. But again, I kind of uh, s like streak in uh, towards people, burst them down really fast, and then I streak away. I, I skirmish a lot. Run uh, off balance. Um, I actually have no idea what's proccing off balance on this build, but for whatever reason, I hit people off balance a lot, and Exploiter does a lot of damage. Um, and then I've got Master at Arms, and Wrathful Strikes. Um, but you should probably be running some damage reduction if you're wanting to do more sustained fighting where you're not running around. Um, also, I am running Vampire, um, I during this recording I just dropped to stage two, but you want to be on stage three. Another thing is I'm running rally instead of uh, crit surge because 
I don't want too many Magicka dump skills, and while well, I've already got five, uh, so I've got Dark Deal, Brace Against Time, Streak, Haunting Curse, and Crystal Frags, um, using Magicka. Um, and Rally gives a really nice, reliable heal. Um, one thing, if you're going to run this setup in Battlegrounds, you might actually consider running Shadow of the Red Mountain instead of Order's Wrath. Um, let's see if I have... Um, Red Mountain does almost as much damage as uh, Kalurians used to do. Um, people will see it coming and oftentimes dodge it, but if you if you CC them before it hits them, uh, it's a really, 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 really good burst combo. Um, and then uh, another thing is that I'm not running Essence Thief simply because uh, after you put so much sustain into this setup, uh, you'll, you can then put so much damage into it that you really don't need that extra damage boost from uh, Essence Thief because Order's Wrath... Um, gives you so much damage that you really just don't need it. So, uh, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I don't have any gameplay to show. This is just because I'm just recording this because Eman asked. Eman. Uh, so, with that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Any feedback or comments, let me know. I'm always eager to hear what people have to say. Uh, have a good one.